Welcome back everybody to the channel, it's me Alejandro Mendoza or the Nerd Chicano, either way how you say it, it's all good here and we're back again for another video as we continue our journey through the Twisting the Knife for films by Cloud Shop Rules set from Arrow Video and today we're looking at the next film in this set which is called The Color of Lies. As always I hope this video finds you all happy, healthy and watching some great movies and getting through your collection. I hope that everyone's doing well. Thank you all so much for the support and thank you all so much for enjoying this series as we've been looking at this set so far. We're at the halfway point. We have two more films after this one, but I'm very excited to see what these next films are all about. And I'm excited to discuss this film with you all today. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss another review that drops on the channel. And of course, leave a like on the video as all of that helps me out so much. If you want to lend an extra helping hand, I do have a Patreon set up over at patreon.com slash where you can get early access to videos just like this one right now, along with other cool stuff like exclusives, like video essays and other reviews that are only for my patrons. Of course, it is not mandatory, but it is appreciated either way. You helping out here and watching the videos and li leaving likes and all that stuff is very much appreciated. It does enough, but if you want to go ahead and help out over there, you can. Now, let's go ahead and get into the review of this 1999 film from Claude Chabru. Of course, it has a nice little introduction here from Arrow Video, so I'm going to go ahead and read that, and then we can go ahead and talk about the film, look at the packaging. Oh, uh, that wonderful stuff. You already know how it goes here. Before Gillian Flynn, Lianne Moriarty, or Susan Lewis tapped the bestseller list, Sabru was already making Suburban Noir. His fascination with the corruption and meanness beneath the seemingly perfect surface of small town life made it something of a specialty. In the small coastal town of St. Malo, Brittany, the body of a 10-year-old girl, is found murdered. Suspicion falls on the door. Rene Stern, Jacques Gamblin, a once famous painter, now art teacher, who was the last person to see her alive. His marriage to the boy Vant, Vivian, played by Sandrine Bonheur from La Cérémonie, already, already under strain beneath the weight of gossip and rumor, is further tested when shallow but successful novelist, journalist, and TV host Germain Roland Desmoot, uh, Antoine de Caen, arrives a flamboyant ladies' man with a vacation home in St. Malo and an interest in Vivian, a powerful psychological thriller that puts both the characters and the community under a microscope. Chabro breathes life into suspense with intelligent writing, superior performances, and an unflinching eye for detail. Included in this special edition is a high-definition Blu-ray 1080p presentation, Originally, original lossless PCM French stereo audio, optional English subtitles, brand new audio commentary by critic Barry Forshaw and author Sean Hogan, Nothing is Sacred, a brand new visual essay by film critic Scott Tafoya, examining the ideas of art and legacy in Chabrol's The Color of Lies, A Coeur de Mossange, What's Eating Claude Chabrol, a brand new appreciation by film critic David Callet examining the ways in which Chabrol's films relate, reflect, and refract each other. Behind the scenes featurette, archive introduction by film scholar Joël Magny, select scene commentaries by director Claude Chabrol, theatrical trailer, and an image gallery. This is the front of this one, and then this is the back. This is the spine, and then you just have your Blu-ray disc right there. So this one isn't a um, 4K digital restoration, but it is a 1080p presentation of this film. So having watched La Ceremonie before, I was already introduced to Bonnard, and I thought that she was a great actress who plays her role very mysteriously and very on the very subtly. Yet, in this film, she plays a completely different character, and I just fell in love with the noir aspect and thriller that Klaus Chabrol brings to the table with The Color of Lies. There are a lot of Hitchcock uh, references here, mostly Vertigo, and the Hitchcockian influence is very much there that Chabrol is very much known for. And you get it with this, you know, narrative about 
what happens when a lie goes too far and the small community starts to talk and starts to spread the gossip that this man murdered this girl and you know did unspeakable things to her while it may or may not be true the film isn't really preoccupied with that question if it's true but you can tell what happens when this lie becomes too much for him and leads him to actually murder somebody else that's not the little girl. Shabrul just incredibly paces this film really well where it just really hooks you in. It is nowhere near being to me better than uh, Lymphar, which to me is my favorite Shabrul film. And it's not better than La Sagemonie, but I have to say, it is really thrilling. It has so much going on, but it is mostly occupied with the marriage and what, you know, adultery, uh, love, all have to do within their marriage and how it really crumbles apart this person who, you know, feels very safe with their wife and it leads them to the downfall of actually committing a crime that you know, he actually does commit compared to the one that he's being accused of. I just love these thrillers and I think that Chabrol does an incredible job with, you know, the narrative side but also the directorial and, you know, the visual aspect of the film is so, you know, enticing. It is nowhere near the color palette and presentation of these last films that I've seen, uh, but there are they are really good looking films and they have a really interesting visual style to them that really pair up against this very tense narrative of this noir and this very thrilling experience that Claude Chabrol brings in this film. I watched The Color of Lies on my 4K Panasonic player on my TCL 4K TV and I listened to the audio straight from my TV speakers. So I have to say that visually this isn't a restoration so it is just a 1080p presentation of this movie and I have to say the Blu-ray looks, Blu looks good. There's a lot of grainy scenes and I'm glad that they didn't take that away because it makes the film and maybe some of them are just a little too grainy but the fog scenes are really um, really where the grain shows the most and you can tell that this is a film from 1999 but it's not a bad thing. It looks good. Um, not a lot of things to say about restoration since this film does not have a restoration to it but I have to say that Ideally, you know, the colors look good. The resolution does bring out a lot of good detail in the film. I do love that he concentrates on the suburban life and is very, you know, filled with a lot of houses and a lot of, you know, detail to those houses with the colors. And, you know, there's just so much going on with the visual aspect of this movie. And it looks really good on Blu-ray. So I'm really happy that it looks good and it also is a really good film. There are scenes where you can tell that the film captures a more sharp look out of the um, out of the visual aspect of it and then there's some scenes where it's a little softer and I think that's just what comes to shooting on film stock and you know that's probably just the intended look but I have to say it still looks good on my TV and I really can't complain about the visual aspect. The audio aspect looks sounds really good too. Nothing that I could say was a massive detriment. There was some scenes where I can, you know, hear where I heard the audio was a little lower than other scenes, but nothing that's a big complaint. I think it sounds good, and I think that it was it was all balanced with the music and the sound effects and you know foley and all those things. I think that they did a great job at being able to capture that and put that into this release. Of course, it is a stereo track, so it's not Atmos, it's not DTS uh, True, True HD or DTS X, nothing like that, but it is a fine um, audio counterpart to the video and it sounds really good. And I really can't complain about that aspect because it, it, it sounds good coming out of my TV and it looks good coming out of my TV. As you can tell, there's a good amount of special features in here, some new ones and some archival ones. So you're going to get a good amount of things to watch on this. I did not get to watch any of the special features, but I do what's it called like that there are like three new ones in there that I can go ahead and go back to watching. And there's some archival stuff that I can look at as well. I do always like that they have commentaries uh, from the directors as they look at the scenes and stuff. So I would like to go ahead and check that out on my free time. But I have to say that, you know, you got a good movie here. You got a great looking video, a good 
audio track that sounds really good as well and you got a good amount of uh, special features so this is another one that's real that's pretty good in this set no now can i say that it's better than the last film i watched no i think that that film has a stronger narrative and a stronger performance from Isabel Huppert and I was just more into that type of story but this is still really good and I still really enjoyed my time with it and I think that Klaus Rule once again hits it out of the park with The Color of Lies. To keep up to date with me on all things social media make sure you follow me at The Nerdy Chicano on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, Serialized and on Twitch. I'm the same handle on all of them. Please check out my podcast The Nerdcore by checking out our website nerdcore.com and our Twitch and YouTube at The Nerdcore. Please go ahead and check that out. It would mean a lot to us because we can really use your viewership. Of course, in the comments, let me know what do you think about this set? What do you think about The Color of Lies? What do you think about this film? I really like Sandrine uh, Bonnier as an actress in, the, in his films, and I hope that there are more films that he did with her. I know that Arrow doesn't have any other movies from Klaus Rue from these two sets, other than these two sets, so I'm gonna have to do some research on my own when it comes to Bonaire, but I really like her in this film and I am very much love her in La Ceremony and I can't wait to watch more from her. But for now, that's all I've got for you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you all enjoy. We're gonna be continuing on with this set, so go ahead and keep uh, subscribing, watching these videos, and get ready for more reviews from the Twisting the Knife, four films from Klaus Schwab rules set from Arrow Video, but for now to all my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all next time guys. Bye bye.